At six o'clock, making history, the first African American female police chief in Fort Bend County. She is now the top cop in the city of Arcola. KPRC2 Sion Rhodes is live with that story tonight. And Sion Chief Erica Carr was raised in Fort Bend County. And after two police chiefs in the last five years from outside this department, the city deciding to look within its own ranks and coming up with this historic pick, a person who is not only qualified for the job, but loves the city and wants to be here. It's been an enormous um, show of support. New Arcola Police Chief Erica Carr is still getting used to the title and the enormity of her history making appointment as the first black woman police chief ever in Fort Bend County. <laughs> Never would have imagined that I would have made history, um, but it's really, really exciting to be the first. But her chosen career came out of childhood fear. Oddly enough, I was terrified of the police as a, as a child. Chief Carr grew up in Rosenberg, graduating from BF Terry High School. I just had um, some instances with officers that were not good, and I just felt like I didn't want anyone else to go through that. So I said, why not go to the academy, become a police officer where I can make a difference. She started out at the Meadows Place Police Department in 2010, then joined Arcola Police in 2017, making sergeant one year later. Well, it gave me great pleasure to pin that badge on it. She has the vision to advance that police department to where it needs to be. She's a trailblazer. Sheriff Eric Fagan, who made history himself in 2020, becoming Fort Bend County's second African-American sheriff in 151 years, says Chief Carr will be an important role model. Seeing a person that looks like you in a position of authority, it will help other young women to know that they, they can aspire to do the same thing. My goal is to have my officers out there where we're engaged in the community, where they see a more positive effect versus the negative effect on, of policing. Chief Carr says she is also looking to expand the police force to keep up with the growing city here in Arcola. So that's on her to-do list as well. Live in Arcola tonight, Sion Rhodes, KPRC 2 News.